Okay, this is a re-release of an earlier uh, video I did about two years ago, but I had I was very sick then and I, I couldn't wait any longer, so I, I released it with whispering because I had uh, laryngitis, I couldn't talk. So here's the updated one a little bit and with me talking in a normal voice. I hope you like it. To better understand what's uh, supposed to happen, we're going to go take a look at normal operation first. And in this case, uh, what I did is I plugged in an ca old Canon camera that I had. It automatically... Uh, imported or opened the photo app because I had it set up to whenever I plug in the camera I want to be able to import and choose which ones I want to import. So if that doesn't work we're going to start doing some troubleshooting. The thing you want to do is you want to change it whatever USB port you're plugged into. You may have a different uh, USB port than what's required. Now here's an excerpt from my uh, laptop manual. This is if you notice on this side of it it's got a USB 3.0 or 3.0 port on the other side, it's just a regular USB port, probably a 2.0. We unplug your uh, device from one and try it in the other, and Windows may pop up and recognize it. So if that didn't help, you want to go ahead and change your USB cables. Not all USB cables are exactly the same. You notice the one on the left here has a tag, and that's the one that came with my phone. That's how I recognize it. The other one I bought from Amazon. If you notice, the one on the left is thicker than the one on the right. So all USB cables are not exactly the same. Maybe just uh, picking up a cable, a different cable, plugging it in, try it on both ports, and you may be okay. Now once you have your device plugged into the right port with the right cable, almost universally, Windows will detect it. If nothing happens, there's still a couple things uh, you may need to check. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the right, click on the PC, we're going to go to Manage. And up will come the uh, device manager is one of the computer management uh, things we can do. We'll click on that and we'll go see if it's there. Normally it'll be somewhere in a certain area, uh, probably under portable devices, things you can plug in and un unplug. Um, and in this case it is. It says it's there. Now it may not be up to date. It may not be the Windows drivers may not have been installed correctly, whatever. Uh, you can check that by simply right clicking on it, click on update driver software uh, right here and we'll, and when you click on it you'll get a dialog box and say search automatically. In this case it says it's the uh, current software you may get a, a new install of new software. For those of you who like to deal with the newer interface uh, we'll go back to that for a second. Uh, we'll go up here to devices and we'll click on it and you'll see basically the same stuff. This is for printers and all that kind of thing. But we go up here to where it says, uh, and we can add a printer here or a scanner here, but if you're talking about other devices, you click here, you'll see that it's all here. In my case here, I do the same, I'm going to remove the device. I use the same device, but I'm going to remove it so we can watch it reinstall. I click over here, say yes, I want to uh, uninstall it. Now I can either add a device at the top of that or I can go back over here to the manage and basically do the same thing that I did before. So I come over here to device manager. I look underneath uh, portable devices. It's not there. So I go up here to the system, right click, say scan for hardware changes. And sure enough, boom, there's the Canon PowerShot Elf and it should install the new drivers. So at this point, everything should be working fine. It finished installing the drivers. Uh, everything's there. If we look at the old interface, it's there. New interface, it's there. Uh, it should be working correctly. But, let's say it doesn't actually pop and ask you to do anything or do things when you plug it in. We need to go to autoplay and then we'll see it should be listed here like it is down here. Now if it's not, there's one more thing we need to do and that is to go out and check the device firmware. That's the chips on the device. The software needs to be updated so it can talk to your system. Now on this particular one, I went out to the Canon site because this was a Canon camera. And it'll differ depending upon your device. But I went out there to find get product support and I'm going to put in the model number of my uh, my camera. And that's typical. So I went to the back of my camera found the exact model name. And so once I type it into their search, I can go ahead and uh, under drivers and downloads at least, uh, find out exactly uh, uh, where the drivers are, if there are any at all. So I type in the ELF, it finds, uh, there it is, I click on it, and slowly but surely, and here we go, there's a picture, I've got the right device, everything's cool here, uh, look around here, 
and you see here that it has uh, drivers and downloads is where I'm at okay uh, I'm gonna click on drivers here and there is no driver for the OS version so there's no new software drivers which we are uh, which uh, when we installed it didn't need to find any so it, there's no need to Microsoft has it but here's the firmware and it says there's no firm, firmware needed to talk to Windows 10 so we're good to go there now because not everybody uh, owns a Canon I uh, decided to go out to another site as an example here's the can here's the Nikon uh, site they do it this way there's right there is a link for a link for firmware updates and we go in here here's a list of all different kinds of hardware and you can filter it by types and everything up here or you can just scroll down the page until you find the exact thing you want to, to talk about uh, I'll just go ahead and click on one here so we can see what they do uh, let me choose a model number uh, we'll go ahead it doesn't make a difference we'll just click on one and it goes to the page and it explains exactly how to draw how to get the software how to download it, and everything you need to know So you've done all that and when you plug it in nothing happens well let's go off to the window settings we're going to go over to devices and autoplay your item should definitely be listed now Whoop. should be definitely listed down here like my power shot is and i can set different settings in this case i say i'm telling it to ask me every time uh i plug it in to do what to do okay you can set it up for photos to go ahead and do that uh, and it should plug in it should automatically launch the photo app and start the import process uh, you can also say just to open files and a lot of times I do that depending upon my mood so anyway um, let's go ahead and uh, plug uh, look here it opens up a window and there's my SD card and then I just go, go to the folder where they are and these are two different uh, dates of files but there's some files there and I can just go ahead and uh, drag those to wherever I want to put them on the PC. So there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide on how to get your device hooked up and talking to uh, Windows 10 and should be uh, fine getting those files transferred over.